Oh, hey friends. Today I made a pizza craft and I read a book about pizza. If you would like to see how I made this craft, come with me. Perfect, I'm so glad you decided to join. First, I used a glue bottle, but you can also use a glue stick. Scissors, make sure you get parental help. And I cut a paper plate into fourths, so I have one fourth of the paper plate. I also used construction paper to symbolize the foods that I would have on my pizza, like yellow for cheese, brown for the meat, red for pepperoni, and tan for the crust. This is called a mosaic pizza. Mosaic art is art made from squares. So I am going to cut the construction paper into different sizes of squares, small, medium, and large. We want enough squares to glue on the white space of the paper plate. So since I'm going to glue the yellow squares first, I want to make sure that I have enough. So now that I have an estimate of enough yellow squares, I'm going to cut the red squares to symbolize the pepperoni on my pizza. So once again, let's cut different sizes of squares. And now I'm going to cut the dark brown. This can symbolize foods like sausage or any type of food that might be dark brown. And the same thing for the tan, but the tan is going to symbolize our crust on our pizza. So now we have four different colors of shapes cut out. Let's begin to glue them. For this part, we can glue our squares two different ways. So first, I'm going to show you how to glue one square at a time. So I'm going to place a small dot onto the back of the square. Then I'm going to place that square onto the pizza slice or onto the paper plate. And I'm going to do the same thing for a few more yellow squares. Another way to place your squares on top of the plate is to use your glue bottle or glue stick and to place glue on top of the plate and then place your squares on top of that. This way, you don't have to use your glue stick or glue bottle for each individual square. Now I'm going to place the red squares down to symbolize my pepperoni. So far we have yellow and red squares for the third color. I'm going to use the dark brown to symbolize meat like sausage and I'm going to glue that down also. Now we are almost done. For the fourth color, I'm going to use that for my crust and glue that right across the top of the paper plate. Now look at that pizza slice. Thank you for joining and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this craft. If you did, feel free to make them and leave us comments on YouTube or Facebook. Thank you.